All right, in this lab, I'm going to show you how to configure Meet Me Conference um, using hardware resource. You are required to initiate a Meet Me Conference from HQ Phone 1, and the HQ Phone 1 is supposed to have a Meet Me button on the line numbers. Now, if you take a look at the picture of the HQ Phone 1, you're supposed to see something like this. Right there, Meet Me. So, this is what you need to do by creating a phone button template. Alright, so the requirement is to initiate a meet me from the HQ line, HQ phone one only, and and use the hardware resource to uh, use the conference. Now, meet me number is going to be twenty five oh one. Now, when you join the meet me conference, it should announce the participant name, the person who's joining, and the caller should hear uh, being asked, "Who may I say calling?" Now you can initiate Meet Me conference only from HQ Phone 1, so therefore it needs to be protected by partitions. And if the conference is not created, the call should be routed to HQ Phone. So first of all, we need to use an HQ uh, hardware resource. The hardware resource we're going to use is from the HQ router. In my case, I'm just using Site C because of lack of resource. So I'm going to show you the configuration that you need for your Site C uh, for your hardware conference. Now this is the configuration that you need to have. For your conference bridge, so you define your lo uh, local I interfaces. You define your uh, call manager, sorry, uh, DSP4 profile, and you define your call uh, skinny group. So this is the profile that I'm going to register as HQCONF. Now, once you've done that, you want to go to call manager under media resource, click on conference bridge. And here you will add a new conference bridge that we'll call HQCONF. And this is a hardware conference bridge. And as you can see, it is registered with the voice VLAN interface. Now, once this part is done, your next step is to assign this resource to the HQ group, media resource group. So here's an MRG HQ, and this is where you define the media resource group available for the HQ sites. Now, once this part is done, the next step is to arrange a par uh, create partition. So, what we're going to do, we're going to create two partition. One that is exclusively for HQ phone, because HQ phone is the only one that can initiate a Meet Me conference. And the other one is for general, uh, for the rest of the people who wants to dial or join into a conference once the once the conference is established. So, H, uh, as as you can see, the name applies. Uh, name applies. Meet Me. HQ1 this applies to HQ phone and the voicemail port because this particular partition will be assigned to the meet me number whereas the meet me general will be assigned to a CTI route point that directs a call to unity connection so when the HQ phone dials or attempts to dial 2501 is going to match a number that is assigned this particular partition meet me HQ but when the rest of the people dial 2501, it's going to match a number that is assigned Meet Me General. So you create the partition, you, you, create, you assign the partition to the calling source space. So here's a calling source space for CSSHQPH1, that's for phone 1. And in that particular calling source space, I have this uh, Meet Me HQ partition, the exclusive one. For rest of the calling source space, for example, site B, I have general. So once the calling source space and class of service uh, partitions are created, next step we're going to do is go to CTI route point. We're going to create something called Meet Me CTI route point. You know, it's for HQ location must be defined properly. And then another line where it says line one twenty five oh one. So line one, the extension is twenty five oh one, which happens to be the same number as your Meet Me conference. But the difference is that this number will be pointed to the Unity connection as opposed to the actual Meet Me conf purpose. So when everybody dials twenty five oh one, because their partition, their calling source space will contains the general partition, Meet Me General when the call hits that number it will automatically forward the call to voicemail because I have checked 
vo uh, forward voicemail all. Now once this is done, we're going to log into Unity connection. Well, before we log into Unity connection, going back to call manager, uh, under call routing, the next step is to create a meet me number. So in this case, I have a meet me number called 2501. And in this meet me number belongs to an exclusive partition called meet me HQ, as you can see. Now, next step is to go to device settings, phone button template. In the phone button template, I have created a phone button template for my HQ phone one. Now I am using 7961, but it might be using 7965. So line number six, as you can see, is called Meet Me Conference, and I have put the label called Meet Me. And then of course you'll apply that to the phone. So I'll go to the device phone. So I have the phone right here. In this particular phone, I'm going to apply that phone button template as you can see right there. I'm going to apply the exclusive calling source space for that phone, CSS HQ Phone 1, so that it, when he dials the Meet Me conference, it hits that specific uh, uh, partition. Now, line 1, of course, the rest of the stuff is pretty straightforward. Once this is done, you will log into Unity Connection. Alright, in every connection we're going to create a system call handler. And the system call handler is going to be called receive meet me call. So I have two of them. One is called receive uh, meet me transfer and receive meet me calls. So first I'm going to create a receive meet me calls. The purpose of this is to hit match the extension. So when the call comes in after someone dialed 2509, 2501 is going to match this particular uh, call handler. Now from here what we're going to do is go to edit greetings click on standard greetings actually that's my, my mistake um, we're not going to use the receive call handler so what we're going to do use call routing so you can ignore this part so let me just I will, I will come back to this in a minute so first of all when you log into Unity Connection the first thing you want to do is go to call routing forwarded routing rules in the forwarding routing rules under I have created uh, routing rules called meet me call in and when the call comes in the meet me call in it's going to catch that call based on the forwarding station which is equal to 2501 that is the CTI route point when the call hits that I want the calls to send the calls to call handler called meet me transfer and I'm going to set temp transfer 4 so now it will go to a call handler so that is right here so you can actually literally delete this one this is a mistake um, well it was a mistake it was something I was testing it so meet me transfer is the real call handler that you need to pay attention to so from the call routing section right here meet me call in that will have a forwarding station clause or routing rule says if the forwarding station is equal to 2501 which is your CTI route point in call manager right here 2501 then I want the calls to be transferred to this meet me transfer meet me transfer happens to be because I said attempt transfer the call will actually come in to meet me transfer under transfer rule not the greeting so the call goes directly to transfer rule in the transfer rule I have a standard transfer which trans the default transfer action is to ring 2501 is to ring the 2501 
I'm going to do a supervised transfer because I want the calls to be recorded and the names to be recorded and ask the user. So I'm going to wait for four, four ring. Uh, I'm going to say, tell me who the call is for. Ask the caller name. So you select these two options and you click on save. Now this is for supervised transfer. So once this part is done, go to edit, go back to grading, greetings, standard, and in the in the standard greetings we're going to play nothing, and we're going to say send the calls to user with mailbox HQ phone one. Again, we're going to say attempt transfer four. This is the mailbox for HQ. That's once that part is done. That's pretty much there is to it. Okay, nothing on the call routing. Now, if I were to click on, let me show you the HQ phone one. This is HQ phone one. Right now, though, no meeting has been configured has been initiated if I dial 2500 Faisal as you can see the call is trying to be transferred to 2001 because there's no e call e uh, conference initiated So now I'm going to initiate a conference from the HQ phone. Then I'm going to dial the meet me number. That should establish a conference. And as you can see it does. Now on the site C router where in your case will be HQ show SCCP connection. You should see conference has been established with that particular IP. From this phone, I'm going to dial 2501. Faisal. So now I'm in a conference as well. So if I go ahead and select show connection, I should see that both participants are right there. So that's pretty much uh, validations that you need to do to ensure that the meet me uh, section is completed.